test test. Test, test, test. So in that last video I made, apparently when I moved... In that last video I made, apparently when I made the, uh, uh, picked up the box, I pushed the mute button when I set it down. I'm just going to leave the video up. So, uh, basically what I talked about was, uh, just Doug Flutie bullshit finances basically uh i should have never trusted that stupid hag because none of this would be happening if uh, i told that stupid hag i couldn't trust her uh and she demanded i trust her anyways and it turned out that i can't trust her uh so now i'm trying to make it for lost time and then i was talking about like tripping shrooms with my dad and how i think that helped him i'm not gonna believe it any other way i briefly went into how i heard through the grapevine that basically if one of the parents die that their inheritance goes to the kids through my grandparents uh they didn't tell me i heard this shit a while back um and i hope that's not the reason why everyone was trying to like prepare for my dad to pass away when i was like no he's gonna live for another 20 years watch and all that bullshit uh he's in he's in physical therapy which is good and um yeah I, I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case i don't want to go into it all i went into it all already but the accidentally hit the mute button and that's probably for the best but i love them all very very much in their own ways and we'll just leave it at that so i'm gonna go about my day um and uh uh i think i think k-pop is stupid uh boycotting anything i mean like I, I just feel betrayed by Hyo Yan. To be quite honest, I didn't realize how many posers I should have known how many posers were in Korea. I thought it would be since it's Korea. I thought it would be all like tea ceremonies and shit like that. What the fuck is all this horror shit? Why is all this American drama happening in K-pop? I don't fucking give a shit about any of this horror shit. I could have just watched regular TV. Why the fuck would I watch Korean TV? But it's going to be just like regular TV. It's fucking stupid. I have other shit to deal with. It's probably a good thing that I accidentally hit mute. Because I went off on some stupid bullshit. And mainly about my own family. Because I do not want to believe that we live in a world where people in my family would not try to make sure my dad lives longer so they can get an inheritance. So they can do some douchey shit. Like rent a car and drive it around and but we do live in a world like that, and I hope that's not the case. I, I, I will say this. I don't think they even understand it yet, but, like, from, see, like, from my, from my grandparents' point of view, like, I don't know, even understand, like, I guess, like, my grandpa thinks he's, like, helping out or whatever the fuck. From my point of view, he kept man in the middling my Fallout New Vegas as I was trying to play it. And I'm not trying to be an asshole, but when I was forced to go to the Pinocchios, or P Pinoc P whatever the fuck, and it's like, nothing to do up there, and I'm just trying to play video games, and because years ago, he had caught my oldest brother using AOL to like, talk to a bunch of, he was basically man in the middle of my older brother, and oldest brother, and pretending to be uh, a girl, and sending him like, porn pictures and whatnot, because he used to be a cop after he was a marine, and shit like that. So then, I guess he was, like, trying to do that to me, but I was playing Fallout New Vegas. And I had to, like, redo the Caesar quest because he, man in the middle, didn't play it back. And I was like, stupid asshole, I know what you're doing. So I was like, all right, fine. Well, you're a cop. I'm going to get you involved in some fucking undercover shit too then. And I did that shit, and his fucking wasn't able to process it. 
And then I went home, and I took my work home with me one time. I probably shouldn't have, but I wanted to show what I was doing. And, I don't know, it's just like, some people talk about doing shit, other people do do shit. And then, like, with my family, you can't, like, just have, like, a regular conversation. So, instead, I went to go visit them one more time, and I, like, made a bunch of, like, fake email accounts and, like, emailed myself what was going on and shit like that. It was fucking hilarious. Just don't... Look, this is gonna sound stupid, but, like, in games like Fallout, there's a thing called a rare weapon drop. Okay? So, it is very possible to only once in a lifetime get a specific type of dropped weapon. Or loot, if you want to. So, if you man in the middle me, and I get that loot, and then you whatever the fuck and replay it that loot is gone i can never get that loot again it's annoying it's really annoying but reasons like that is why i wouldn't be surprised if members of my family wanted my dad to pass away so that they could get the inheritance because Bullshit like that is part of that part of the family's trauma bonding, and I don't really approve of it. But what are you going to do? It's family. So, and like, there's times when you're like, yeah, maybe I should go check up on them and see how they're doing and all that bullshit. And then like, there's times when they're like, can't eat mushrooms with dad he's a vegetable and then like the next day he's like i'm going to physical therapy thanks for the mushrooms allegedly so i don't know i don't want to get into it i was i do remember saying that i think this is my parents cicada moment because sometimes you just have to cicada you have to just let go of everything give up everything and then build it over again because you're strong enough to do it i think if my dad finishes his cicada moment I think that will be the best way to tell everyone to fuck off. So, I guess that's what I was saying. Cicada. Cicada.